Lesson 5. Putting it all together and getting your first date. Dating for the first time wouldn't it be great if there were a dating for dummies book on the market? There probably is since these entertaining and delightfully helpful books are out there for almost anything we might want to learn. Unfortunately, not everyone enjoys reading an entire book just to learn the basic things in life. As intimidating as it may seem, dating is a very basic for most people. If you're a newbie to the world of dating, you may be in need of some helpful tips to make dating the fun process it's meant to be. There is nothing quite as special as going on your very first date. If it's someone you've fantasized about dating for a long time, the experience can be even better. We always remember our first date, whether it's someone we've known for ages or the result of online dating. Let's make it one of your more pleasant memories. Regardless of how nervous and self-conscious you may feel or how much of a good idea it may seem like at the time, do not bring the friend or third party with you on a date, especially the first date. Your date will think either you need your friend's approval to be with them on a date or will realize this is your first date. Your first date should be spent getting to know each other, and you can't really do this with a third party tagging along. If you're old enough to go to bars and nightclubs, which is where many dates begin or end, be sure you do not get drunk. Many times people will have the intention of having one or two drinks to calm their nerves and end up drinking too much and making a fool of themselves. A relationship that may have developed into something very special can easily be ruined on the first date by too much alcohol. Let your new date get to know the real you, not an alcohol-impaired individual. If possible, try to find out where you'll be going so you can dress appropriately. It can be very embarrassing to be in a dress if you're on a go-karting date or some other sporting event. At the same time, a pair of blue jeans may be appropriate for casual dress but not a fancy restaurant. This is also something that can easily ruin the first date. One last tip is do not monopolize the floor talking on the entire date. Your date may tell you they want to know all about you, but they don't want to know all about you, at least not on the first date. Getting to know each other should be a gradual process, not something you can expect to take place in one date. The less you divulge on the first date, the more they'll want to see of you to learn more. Lastly, relax and have fun. There was a reason you wanted to go on a date with this individual, so make the most of this date. First date tips for men getting ready for a first date can be very stressful, whether you're the man or the woman. Women often think of men as confident and always sure of what they're doing. In reality, most men will claim they're every bit as nervous before a first date as women. If you're a man getting ready for your first date with that someone special, here are some tips to ease your anxiety and put the fun back into dating. Provide her with a traditional date. In spite of how modern and independent women may think they are, when it comes to dating, at least the first date, they're traditional. In most women's minds, a traditional date involves the man making the reservations to wherever they're going, picking the woman up and paying the bill. Do not expect her to meet you on the first date or to help pay for the meal. Doing the first date properly will get things off on the right foot. Don't expect her to accept a date for today or tomorrow. Allow enough time to make plans and reservations. By asking her for a date in the future, you're letting her know that you believe she leads an active life and doesn't spend her time sitting at home waiting for you to call. Show her that you care enough about this first date to have it all planned. Do not show up at her door with no idea of what you're going to do. Don't forget that anticipation tends to make things better. Don't be cheap on your first date.
you don't have to take her to the most expensive restaurant in town, but be selective with where you choose to take her. Show her that you've taken time to consider the best ways to show her how special she is to you. Even if you're on a budget, there are many ways to delight her on the first date. Learn what she likes and do everything to accommodate her. Don't be afraid to call her ahead of time to confirm your plans. She'll take this as a sign that you are anticipating the first date as much as she island be on time for your date. This is good etiquette for all dates but particularly so with the first date. Try not to be too early either as this may just stress her out if she happens to be running late. If for some unavoidable reason you find you will be late, call her and give her an update on when she can expect you to arrive. We all love to have someone show us and let us know we're appreciated and desirable. If she looks great, don't hesitate to let her know. At the end of the date, if you feel things did not work out and have no change, do not string her along with a promise to call her. Tell her you had a great time and thank her with a kiss on the cheek. If, on the other hand, you both had a great time, let her know and ask her out again. How to make a woman find you attractive when you look in the mirror? Do you see a fairly attractive man staring back at you and wonder why you've yet to have a date? Is your dating technique from another world? Are you just too shy to ask a woman on a date? Do you, in spite of your good looks, have what it takes to make yourself appealing and attractive to a woman? Believe it or not, many men face this problem because they have no idea what a woman looks for in a man or finds attractive. Although every woman is different in her preferences there are some attributes in men that attract most, if not all, women other than good looks. Here are some tips worth considering before asking that special someone out for your first date. Women love a man that has confidence. If you've ever heard the saying fake it until you make it, it may become a necessity. Women enjoy having men compliment them and make them feel special. They're not going to get this on the date if the man is so self-conscious and insecure that he needs someone telling him how great he island keep in mind, however, that there is a huge difference between having confidence and being arrogant or conceited. A man can't show his confidence in many ways such as sharing ideas and opinions without being argumentative. When a man has confidence, he doesn't always have to be right. Women also find a man that's affectionate and kind to be very appealing. This doesn't mean you should be pawing her in public or be a pushover, but be kind, affectionate and thoughtful. If you both have different ideas of what you want to do, don't be afraid to compromise and make her happy first. You can do what you wanted to do on your own time or on your next date. She'll appreciate the effort you made to make her happy. Women like a man that will offer her security and take care of her. This doesn't mean that every woman wants to be taken care of, but she wants to know that he's willing and able to if need be. If they have marriage and children on their minds, as most women do, they need to know the man can offer security. They won't see this if you have a history of not holding one job very long. These are just a few of the many traits that women look for in men. Next time you're looking in the mirror, ask yourself how many of these traits you already possess and how many you can easily develop with a little effort in time for your first date. Breaking the ice on the first date going on that first date can sometimes be the most